Welcome back into Chat Pack episode three. We're here three weeks in a row, guys. We made it. That means, is it a habit yet? How long do we have to do something until it's a habit? When does that happen? One month. 16 days. Six, oh, well, <laughs> so so do we have to do 16 weeks then? Since we're doing no, 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 one days. day. Days. 16 days. No. Yeah, but we're not doing this every day. No, what we have to do is do it every day. There you go. You know, in my in my brain, I'm all, you know, I, I, a, a thought crosses my mind. I'm not going to say every day, but anyway. I, I listened to episode one. It was pretty good. Does that count as one of the one of the days? Well, that's yeah, a bit I listened narcissistic. To episode two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, someone's got to listen to these things, right? <laughs> my name is Paul Holden. I'm one of your hosts here of the chat pack. I am joined as always by part of the dynamic trio until we become the quadruplets. I don't think that's where I really wanted yeah. to go with with that. <laughs> But um, anyway, I got Trevor Heim, he, the man behind the mask. He does everything for us. He's producer, engineer, all that good stuff. All the stuff that I aspire to be an actual professional at. And here Trevor is doing it all by himself on his computer. So, oh, Paul, you, Trevor. You, you flatter me. Well, it's my job to, you know, to, to flatter. To I was going to say to pamper, but again, not Promote. exactly. Yeah, there we go. That's that, that's the P word that I was looking for there. <laughs> and rounding out the group today, we are joined by the one and only Benjamin Colvin. Hello, Ben. Hey. Playing a video game yet again this time, or no, is it I, I'm not. It's gone. Don't even worry oh. about it. But um, I'm just saying, if we can get six people on the chat pack, then we could be the six pack. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so I bet you do, that could happen. We could. We, we could get this? someone on there. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of people all trying to talk at once. To get totally and you know, <laughs> yeah, and you know exactly. That's exactly what would happen too. Everyone would just try and talk over each other the whole time, mm-hmm. and then a fight would break out. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> we don't even know who's would in come the, up. the podcast. Like, this is some random person in there that we don't even know. But this is the podcast where we talk about this, that, and the other thing. We started this thing when we were in college, joined in our living room, but now we connect th- through the interwebs, and one day we'll fire up our face cameras, because I think we could do that at this point, right? I don't know. I'm pretty ugly. Yeah, That's I'd true. I have to clean my room, so... And we all know he's not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. You'll just leave. If Ben's a piler, there's just piles of things. Ben always. I'm. I'm. Oh, I've moved away from my piling days. I'm much less you? of a piler these days. Yeah. Do you I'm actually use it. all of the amenities that are given to you in your room, like closets and space for furniture? Well, I pile in my closet. No. Oh, so. there you go. Hmm. As I take a long sip of a high quality beer, guys, let, oh, yeah. take a guess what I'm what I'm drinking tonight. Uh, Jackie O's. Mm-hmm. Nope. No. I, uh, PBR. Light. Rolling Rock. Bud Light Platinum. All good guesses, but I went a little classier tonight. Ooh. I'm drinking the champagne of beers. Coors Miller Banquet Light beer. High Lifes. No, <laughs> Miller Light High Life, aka the uh, champagne of beers. Established in 1903, a good year. That's when they first started whaling off of the Pacific in Alaska. Is that a fact? You, you, you made that up. up? Uh, you know, prove me wrong. That's all I got to say. Look it up. Decide. Moby decide. Dick was before that, so if, I disagree. <laughs> when was Moby Dick? It was Moby Dick in the 1800s? Probably. That's, yeah, he didn't have like 1900s stuff. Oi, the great Moby Dick, here he is out in the seas. I'm going to throw me harpoon at him and I'm hope to catch the big white whale. <laughs> Paul, you should do audiobooks. <laughs> I think the world needs more of my voice. You know what I mean? In, in every asset of their lives. That's why I do a lot of vocal recording. One day I'm going to get in um, a video game. That's You the should goal. provide a service where you narrate someone's life. That's I'm going to try and sign up once I'm going to, I was talking some gear with Caleb today who was, uh, well, he didn't really know. I dropped it on him last second, but Caleb now knows that we're doing this. So we'll probably rejoin the show in about four months. Um, four months. So Jesus. I was talking to him. Uh, it'll be a habit, correct? Yeah. It's got to be at that point. Yeah. It'll be like season four by then. 
Yeah, because we'll probably have to, we we'll, we'll probably take a break at some point. Maybe I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see what happens. We got to start getting some other stuff going too. I'm actually, and I, th- that's a good thing I wanted to discuss with you guys today. If we were to take things to doing more stuff, my work schedule might turn into Monday through Thursdays, and then I'm off Friday through Sunday. So that could provide us some some potential to do some video game and, and sitch. There you go. Yeah, that'll be fun. So anyway, so before we'll we get into, more it, into that off air, I just wanted to at least mention it while it was on my brain. Anyway, Trevor, you were saying, uh, I was just going to say before we get into it, uh, you mentioned the beer you're drinking and I wanted to mention, cause I'm a bit proud of myself that I made a Moscow mule and I've been getting into these recently and I recently learned that if you muddle, if you muddle the lime, which is basically from my understanding, just crushing the lime into the bottom of the mug. Um, it makes a pretty damn good Moscow mule. So that's what is, what is that? Some kind of drink? Yeah. It's oh, like yeah, a whisk. Yeah. It's rye whiskey, right? On ice. Uh, with, no, it's bourbon. It's bourbon. Is it? I made it with vodka. <laughs> I, I, I don't think vodka, I don't think vodka is the way to do it, but I'm I, any cocktail I, you can make with your own. I would, I guess though at the same time, but I'm pretty sure a proper Moscow mule is a dark liquor. This might be insensitive of me, but I assumed that the Moscow part meant vodka. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I mean, it makes sense, but, um, on another random side note, do you want to hear see what my mom posted on Caleb's Facebook page for his birthday? <laughs> would, you, would you like to be informed on that? Jeez, it's Paul. Would I ever? <laughs> She's going to kill me that I said that about her. Uh, I told you guys about the Cheez-Its thing. Um, but uh, <laughs> she she wrote on Caleb's Well, I'm, I'm finding it. because The best part about I love my mom to death. She just doesn't know how to capitalize things on the internet. So her sentences, are, which drives me nuts. How do you guys feel about lowercase letters? That doesn't bother me. Ugh, drives me nuts. I, anyway, I, oh, and I, it, I, I misspoke. Anyway, sorry, Trevor. Go ahead. Uh, the capitalized letter thing drives me crazy because most devices at this point auto capitalize. Mm-hmm. So if you're not capitalizing your sentences, it's like you're making a conscious effort to lowercase the beginning of your sentences. Sometimes, <laughs> lowercase, lowercase sometimes, I'll just, uh, sometimes I'll just turn off autocorrect and just go crazy with it. I don't then you, you madman. I, no, I do that sometimes. No, no uh, training wheels. Oh my gosh! I have to spell. I have to spell words for myself. Yeah, ladies, the, calm uh, down. <laughs> my mom said, "Happy birthday, miss you. Do you miss Paul?" So I'm very much anticipating how Caleb's going to decide to answer my mother, even though he probably won't. But who well, knows? Miss you. If- you miss Caleb. What if he just, what if he were to no say, no comments in that know. sentence, mind you, by the way, just what all. If just, what, what if he says, I don't miss Paul. Uh, I mean, <laughs> he probably will. Like I wouldn't put it. I mean, he might do something to, to, he would try to mess with me, but I don't know if he, if, if he could mess with poor, with poor Mary, you know, you shouldn't No, you really shouldn't. Mm-mm. <laughs> anyway, let's let's dive into some stuff. I don't have as much stuff to talk about other than the fact that I've been buying more things than ever. Just random <laughs> things. A lot of video games lately. Too many sales on video games. But anyway, what'd you guys do this week? Oh, Caleb just showed up. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Hold I think, the phone. I think that just means he joined our... Uh group <laughs> well I, I but i but i but i messaged him that we were doing the show right before we did the show so well, maybe. maybe oh he's in the wrong he's, he's chat in the channel, channel. Oh, he's in the he's wrong lost. channel lost. <laughs> the anticipation <laughs> is me- killing me everyone uh hold on a moment as we redirect caleb to the right channel there he is there he is no way he's not here uh, hello Oh, oh look man. who it is. Hi. Caleb, mind you, we've been recording for a bit now, so you are joining the show in progress, <laughs> but welcome. Hello. I mean, Hi. I also, um, I can't, my audio is probably a little bit poopy. Cause, are you on your phone? Uh, I'm on my phone. It probably sounds like bummo. Yeah, it's all right. It's actually not too bad. 
Trevor still Trevor still sounds the best. That's for sure. And honestly, I'm very glad that you joined us, Caleb. So fill fill in the audience, remind them who you are, and then I didn't have too much on my brain to tackle. So I'm glad you're here. You can tell us about what you've been doing the past month. <clears throat> tell us about the dinosaurs. How many dinosaur bones did you break? How many archaeological <laughs> discoveries did you ruin with your clumsiness? Well, um, well, I mean, I I broke like six Triceratops teeth. Oh, um, come on. But, you know, what they say is you got to break some bones to find them. So you kind of like, you, you tap, tap, tap through all the rock, like they call that the Matrix. And you just keep on, you got a hammer and an awl. You know what I mean? Like an all like a little pointed tool. It's kind of like a little miniature chisel. And you just keep on hammering through all of it, and you uh, eventually find something. But usually you pull off a piece of rock, and you're like, oh, wait, that has a chunk of something. And then you look down, and you're like, oh, there's a tooth. Or there's a bone or whatever. But Did you ever think you saw that. something, and it was just nothing? Uh, practically the whole time. Mm. Yeah, yeah I, I, I bet, man. That's it. So... Yeah, so Caleb was in Montana digging up dinosaur bones with the band. Talk about some good band bonding experience. Are you going to write a song about it? Is there going to be a song about digging up dinosaur bones? There's already a song. Oh, is there? It's called Fieldwork. Oh. (laughs) That's new news to me. (laughs) Clearly, Ben doesn't follow the band very closely. I mean, I I lost my Instagram, so I I can't keep up with it anymore. You lost lost your Instagram? No, I mean, I I deleted the app. I didn't lose it, but I'm choosing not to use Instagram. That's you misplaced it. Interesting. Instagram's yeah. like the only social media like I enjoy going on. I just waste my time on the other ones. I waste my time on Instagram too, so <laughs> it's gone. I, yeah, I only use Instagram and Reddit. I'm not. I know Trevor's a Reddit guy with me. He's the one who turned me on to Reddit. Actually, Reddit's the best, man. But it's nice yeah. that there's like a front. You know, it's like. In Facebook, you'll get some content, and it's just like eight of your friends who will like, you know. There's not upvote downvote system. It's just like they like or comment it. It's but like an Reddit, echo chamber. You, like, you what? Uh, I said it's like an echo chamber. Oh, Reddit. Not. I'm still. I'm still trying to figure out if my voice audio is just awful. No, you're good. <laughs> no, it sounds okay. Well, okay, but hang on, hang on. Hang on. I think we need to go back to the dinosaur bones before we talk about Reddit. right. Because everybody yeah. knows about Reddit. Yeah, we don't. Need, let's really go back to dinosaur bones. About so what? Let's talk so about. Did you the actually break you these teeth? I feel like if you broke six nope. teeth, the people, the pros on there would be like, "Get this fucking guy out of here." <laughs> uh, no, no, no. So let me let me just break down the process for you a little bit. Just like the teeth. Uh, yeah, hey. just like just like I broke down every wow, wow. single bone I found. <laughs> so even your own. Even, uh, yeah, sure, Paul. <laughs> do, do you want do you want me to speak about the trip? No, 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 no. Caleb, Speaking what we want you to do is start talking want, about something, and then we'll rudely interrupt you every time you start getting on a, a tangent. That's what we want. I'm, I'm with my family. It's, that's the same thing. Well, speaking of breaking bones, it's about a year since I broke my elbow. Fun fact, guys. So there you go. Oh. Did you really I, break stuff? I think that you just kind of like you bruised it, and then you were like, "Oh, I, I think I need an elbow brace." And I know I, I, I fractured it, and uh, it was a sling. According to who? According to doctors and X-rays from Holzer Urgent Care. And ben, Ben's not a doctor yet. Just because we call him Doctor Colvin, that doesn't count. Ben did a Ben did he took me yeah, to this X-ray? Caleb, I did. I did an X-ray. It wasn't mm-hmm. broken. Paul's just being a, a wuss. Yeah, you know, that's exactly what I thought. I don't know how we got that X-ray technology from for while you were able to do that while you were biking, um, <laughs> and in multiple different states away from me. But it was quite impressive. Everything's Wait, digital, man. So I don't think I've yeah. heard the elbow breaking story. What happened? Very anticlimactic. I was just biking in my neighborhood, and I was starting to go down a hill, and I was drinking some water on a hot day, and I. Uh, tapped my left brake too hard and flipped over my handlebars and the way I braced my, um, I braced myself going down. Uh, I fractured the radial head in my elbow, which oh, allows no. your elbow Ooh. to oh. rotate over 
and we've all been there and uh, straighten. So there you go. That's that's it. But anyway, back to dinosaur bones. Okay, let's so we've, we've tell gone us about from the broken process. seats to broken elbows. I found a turtle radius, actually. Hey. What is a turtle radius? It's the arm bone. One of the arm bones if, is the oh, ulna. That's radius, ulna, carpals, metacarpals, phalanges, humerus. You just are you just rattling Hemoglobin. off names or are these all? <laughs> yeah, um, the I, the way I remember those names is because in PE class in elementary school we'd have to stretch, and when we would tap the part of the body, we would say that. Hmm, that's weird. And flanges, well, honestly, great way for fingers. That, that's truly uninteresting. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know. You know, I'm doing my best to keep the people entertained, Caleb. So why don't you keep us interested? Well, I want to go back to the turtle. Is it a, is <laughs> the, the turtle, turtle at least extinct, or is it just a like a a pet a, turtle that got lost? Like a random turtle, <laughs> <laughs> old Sparky. I mean, it's a turtle that's probably evolved so much that you might just say that it's it's you know it's but, is it, would you say it's mutant? <laughs> it's an X X Man turtle. <laughs> How, how you, old would you say this turtle is? You, like a teenager? Old, yeah, 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 maybe like a teenager. Did they come from Japan? <laughs> was it a, <laughs> was it the radius of a teenage mutant ninja turtle? <laughs> I'm so glad you're in Chicago right now and not in Ohio. Hey, I just we spit started up the show off <laughs> into my microphone. What, what were you we talking just, about before I got here? We started actually. We were just discussing. Um, we were the talking response. about what we were going to. I think. Uh, yeah, we were about to talk about just what we were going to talk about. And boy, you you coming <laughs> in has really saved my bacon, Caleb, because it's gotten a whole lot more interesting. But I, um, I derailed. It? I still. We, okay. Do you know what the turtle was? What species? Yeah, we did not. We did not rule out if it was Michelangelo, was Leonardo, Raphael, or Donatello. Yeah, I think it was a Raphael. Paul, those are Renaissance oh. artists. They are. They are. Does do you guys want to know a fun fact about turtles? Yes. No. Well, I we got yeah. one yes and one no. It's up to you, Trevor. Yes. Give oh, me that fun fact, one. Ben. Okay. Well, a turtle can breathe through its cloaca. I don't know what that means. Wow. That's its butthole, basically. Butthole well, breathing, man. Yep. Cloaca uh, means butthole. Yeah, they don't well, have. Uh, you're pronouncing that wrong. It's actually bummo. It's not butthole. It's bummo. What? What is Wait, this? Yeah, where is this accent coming from? What are you doing here? What is? What is the accent? I I have no. What are you talking about? What? Well, I, I don't. I I, I don't oh. see. Um, oh my gosh, what? Caleb, this is like when a middle schooler tries to like change something about themselves because they think it's going to be cool. I've all, I've always. You're, you're an adult. <laughs> I've just. I've all, I don't under, I don't see. Um. What? You, all, all right. I just. I, I just want to go back to the turtle's bummo. All right. <laughs> Before we were talking about turtles' buttholes, we were. It's bummo. a happy birthday, by the way. Happy oh, birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Um, so we were discussing birthday. what awesome. your response to my mom on Facebook was going to be. Um, <laughs> that was you how know, riveting of conversation we were going. <laughs> we were going with for the evening. So I wasn't even there, and you guys were talking about my potential response to your mother. Yeah. Paul brought it up. That was a Paul thing. Gosh. I really, she asked if you missed me. So at the end of the day, that's really what I care about. I think that's the title of this podcast. Does Caleb miss Paul? <laughs> we want to know. We can do no. a deep dive. You get Trevor and Caleb or Trevor and Ben can chime in. They can give the, the outside opinions. Let us know what they think. The, <laughs> the audience can chime in. Oh man, whatever audience we're going to have at the end of this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> We've gone off on some sort of rails. I think but. the audience wants to know what kind of turtle it was. And we still haven't gotten a straight answer. I'm beginning you know, to think that you didn't even dig up a turtle and this is all made up. That's but what I'm really, saying. Do you have really photographic good. proof that you dug up anything? Because <laughs> I do. I have plenty of it. Okay. I'm not surprised. All right. I just, I'm just skeptical I mean, as all. You don't, you don't think that I dug up dinosaur bones for eight days and just didn't take any pictures. But do you want, should we go, let's just go back and start from the top of this. And, and if you can Welcome get, to get Chat Pack. Out. This is oh, a podcast where we... <laughs> We're 20 minutes into this shit. Oh, no. <laughs> We're not restarting for that. But no, okay. Starting from the top, your bandmate, Dave. 
one of the most fascinating people on the planet. He is a what? paleontologist, right? What is That's that band, that. by the way? Wrong. Oh, I was wrong. Damn it! I thought I thought I was right this whole time. But he was a paleontologist. No, he's not. Well, a- more so that paleontology is the study of dinosaurs. Um, Paul, is that really your question? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so Caleb, are you a paleontologist now? No. Wait, I thought Definitely paleontology not. was that hit uh, Instagram diet. Oh, boo. <laughs> Trevor, okay, I'm sorry. Before, we're going to get back to this, but I need to derail it one more phone time. Phone. Um, Give me these tangents, I I Paul. Because here's the thing. Trevor... You're 45, I've decided. You are, you have a house, you got your kid, you're making dad jokes, you have a (laughs) guest bedroom, I have a well-established job. You're, you're the most adult functioning out of all of us. And (laughs) the more I think about it, you're just, you're 45 and you, you love talking around the water cooler. So that, that's where I had to take that real fast. Yeah. You know, I think that's a compliment, but I'm also kind of offended. (laughs) <laughs> take yeah, it as you 43 will. if you want 43 <laughs> 45 Man, i just felt i could mute people in this so i could mute paul if i we could all mute paul if we wanted hijack, we could hijack you the could. podcast you could but who would keep the conversation greased and moving along greased, greased? that's the word oh, you went with conversation is so greasy can we just get mm-hmm. some hey, of this grease can i just say to you Paul, I had some pretty interesting stuff I was excited to talk about tonight, and then you're like, well, yeah, we too. don't have anything to talk about. Guess we'll just no, 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 no. bring no, no, Caleb no, no, no. on actually, no, no, and let no, no, Caleb no, 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 go no. off the bales. I said me. I said me. I said I've you're got, saving me. I didn't have anything to bring up. I've got a bone to pick <laughs> right now. <laughs> Should we get let Caleb... Should we let Caleb finish his story no, and then get to not. your own to I mean, He's just going to keep beating around the bush on if he really dug up a turtle or not. I'm, I'm sick of hearing about that. I think he didn't do it. I think it's all lies and he's just trying to cover up, frankly. We, we found one radius. I don't know how you're supposed to identify what species of turtle. Well, you it look is. at the bone and you say, okay, this is a turtle bone. Then you go to the taxonomy book. You open it up. You flip to the, the radius bone. Page and bada bing bada boom. Can you see can I just say turtle. too, having not known what a radius is, when you when you said you found a turtle radius, if you were about to say that you that radius is a scientific term for the shell, I was about to be fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Ben out on an archi- on a dig. And he has got one of those hats, those explorer hats, the professor hats, and he's very much in that traditional garb with a magnifying glass. Oh, look at magnifying this! Magnifying glass. What? Look at this! Look at this crack in the wall. We see here the sediment from the rock fell down here, and it was quite good. Oh, look over here! It's a turtle's bummo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think he's breathing. <laughs> Oh, no, okay. Actually, uh, so, what have uh, we become? I did, what so, is so this? So I did actually. This is a real, real thing because you guys were really close to narrowing down an actual experience I had. But like, where did all the British accents come from? There's no British accents, but I was on a uh, man-made island in the Baltimore area looking for turtle nests for two Bum weeks. Up. So you guys were pretty close. Okay. I didn't have any garb though. I just wore regular clothing. Hey Ben, I wanted to ask really a quick question about you. Is okay. can you can you breathe through your cloaca? <laughs> <laughs> I have never tried. That's a good idea. You should really. I'm just Come saying on. that'd be a real useful you're, skill. You're giving me true. crap for dad jokes, and then uh, Caleb's crap. making jokes uh, about poop, and you guys are cracking up. Yeah, because Caleb and I we're young, Trevor. You're old. <laughs> Okay, well, we can laugh uh, at poop jokes. At making dad jokes, and we're making jokes about titles, bummos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, Caleb. Caleb, give us, bummel. give us the walk us through it. Walk us through it. Okay, well, so you start off, and like we'd gone to this site called the Lucky Trike site. Because no, the uh, start the from the beginning. How did you get to decide uh, to do this? The road trip, ditching me, and not coming and saying hi. All that good oh, stuff. Oh man, it seems like there's some history to this. 
You want me to... Ooh. I don't think I can make it through that without being horribly derailed. If we want to start from the very top, I mean, it's just... just not, but, I think... I don't know, okay, let's... Like, no, we're we're just spark notes. Yeah, do like five... Five guys, five, we went five on a road moments. trip. Five big moments or something. Some okay. highlights of your trip. All right. You know, I, I didn't really have an organized pen and paper. With, with a deal. brief explanation of the trip, how you got started, just a quick summary. So Dave, Dave, many moons ago, had been interested in paleontology work, and he messaged somebody or emailed somebody. They let him come out. He formed good relationships with this large group of paleontologists from Utah and Denver. And the North woo. Carolina – sorry, go ahead. Go, I just go said ahead. woo. I said woo oh. to, the, to Denver. Woo, not woo. Not yeah. to Utah, the, though. Denver, Denver Museum, but now some of those people work out in North Carolina, and one of them was leading this expedition, and Dave was invited along, and Dave said, hey, I've got three friends who might want to come along, and so he coordinated. They said, sure, you can send them along as long as they can handle being out camping in the woods, digging poop holes, shitting out the bum holes. Um, what? And... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> you were on an archaeology dig? Is that right? <laughs> Don't worry about Ben. Just keep going. Paleontology. Um, no, but we um we ended up driving out there because we were gonna fly, but then it was horribly expensive, and it was it's out to like rural Montana, so it's like you're like out at like one of their larger cities called Billings, and then you drive out to like this more isolated city named Jordan. And then from there, you drive another hour and twenty minutes, just out like you drive like thirty minutes, and then the the con or like the pavement just becomes dirt road. And then after a while, on the dirt road, it becomes farmer two track road. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. like grass in the middle, mud on either side. And so then eventually, you make it out to this site that's just like in the absolute middle of nowhere. And uh, they had already done; they got permits. It's in the Badlands, which I think you guys know what Badlands are, right? I think so. It's like a, it's like really, really hilly desert. Um, like all of it, it, like it looks like the the Grand Canyon, but it's on a miniature scale. And instead of it being like big hard rock, it's like soft hills that like can kind of crumble easily, and you can dig into the first foot or two pretty easily because it's just kind of soil. Um, and so the, the process would, we, you know, we'd wake up, we'd get our, uh, all of our gear out to the site and then we dig down, like we had to, you, we had to open a quarry the first few days. So you have to just open like this about three feet deep, uh, more than that, probably six feet deep by like eight feet wide. And then we just kept on and we dug down until we found like little remnants of bones and like, that's just like, that's hard work. So it's just like, you've just got pickaxes and shovels because you can't, you got to hike in like a mile and a half or something like that. And it's just kind of like up and down. So you can't, you can't carry in like jackhammers or any <laughs> kind of power. Like there's just nothing. It's just picks and shovels. You can't just drive a bobcat out there. No, just can't, can't drive a bobcat, get a bucket or a backhoe <laughs> or something like that. It'd be nice. I know that there's sites like that. Like they found a, they had a bunch of crazy stories, and one of them was that in Denver they were doing some kind of like they were there was a construction crew that was building something, and like one of the guys who had a bucket was that was like digging, you know, like a like a big construction vehicle, sure. he was, like, digging with it, and he he felt something solid, and he was like, that doesn't feel like rock. How he did, how he was just able to feel that it wasn't rock and that it was bone blows my mind. But they ended up finding like a full intact triceratops skull. <laughs> Oh dang! Cool. Yeah, or some kind of ceratopsy, and I wasn't. So he didn't like, break those teeth. No, right? those teeth were. He uh, kept those intact. Boo! <laughs> yeah, I guess there were some broken teeth on that one. Maybe just a couple. But we, uh, the site that the specific site that we went to had they had already pulled up a triceratops skull, and oh, so wow. we knew, we figured that there was already a body there. Um, and so the guy who led it like pointed us, pointed me and Steve basically was just like dig here. And so like we had like a big group of people and we were just all swapping off, picking and doubling. And That's we ended up, we kind of got skunked because we like, we found, I don't know, like 12 teeth, maybe, maybe more than that. 
because we found a bunch of Triceratops teeth, and then Steve uncovered um, uh, what it's some kind of theropod um, tooth, which thera means it's like theropod is like what like a T Rex's were. Um, oh, like birds. Pod means foot. No, pod <laughs> means foot, and thera means beast. So it's beast foot. I don't know why that's super relevant, but because they've got those big beast three foot. prong nails, you know. <clears throat> ben, but, didn't they call you uh, Beast Foot in college? We still do. <laughs> we what? call them it all the time. Hey, Beast Foot, there he goes, <laughs> just beasting feet over you there. Should, Ooh, that doesn't smell sound my good. climbing shoes. Guys, ther- Therapod's coming out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Big Therapod. Athlete's <laughs> Foot. <laughs> Drinks on therapy. Hey, no, hey, we're not getting oh change it. We're gonna listen to Caleb's entire story. Uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Caleb, I mean, we lost him. It, it doesn't <laughs> you on that much. After that, I mean, like you, you do, you open the quarry, and then once you open the quarry and you hit bone layer, like I remember, we were just like, because you're just working out there. It's crazy hard work because you're just swinging a pickaxe all day, and. Uh, I mean, breaking I up. That, huge- Caleb, I do that every day in Minecraft, so don't make it sound. Oh like my it. gosh! <clears throat> you know, I don't think it's quite as easy as that, Ben. <laughs> Although I did hurt my finger out there, and oh. I'm sure that you do hurt your finger clicking on the, the pickaxe. You're no, I've got some fingers. You what? Yes. I got strong phalanges. Phalanges. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe you need to come out on one of these things then. Which are connected Dude. to the humeruses, then connected no, to the radiuses, then connected to the ulna, the carpal, the metacarpal. No, Paul, no, no. <laughs> so that's actually pretty crazy that you guys can go out and like manually dig down to that stuff, and it's like pretty much just right in our backyard, like. And, yeah, and I not really that your deep. success rate is a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. Like, uh, I definitely thought it was going to be like a lot of days of a lot of nothing. Just poking around Montana, not finding shit. Well, but you got to understand, too, that there's a lot of like, so out there, like, it's pretty amazing that you'll, there's days, so like, we knew that there was an active site there, right? Because they had already found a Triceratops skull. And so we figured that there'd be more stuff there. And like, there's certain boundaries, like you, there's a bone layer and like all this stuff will be on like a certain layer, like, and like vertically, you know what I mean? Like you can walk out on these hills and you can go up or down the hill, but like all throughout the whole Badlands at about the same level, you'll find all of those bones. I mean, if you go higher up, the, the more recent stuff gets, you know what I mean? So we're like looking for stuff in the Cretaceous region and so it's all going to be on this level it's going to be right past the kt boundary which is like the um the kt boundary it's really cool it's like because they they pointed it out to us when we were hiking through and like that you can see this black layer in the hill like a stripe and that's literally soot from when the asteroid hit the earth that extincted all the dinosaurs oh dang so it's like yeah, pretty gnarly. Like it's just like all those. Is that a remnants. technical? Is that a technical term? Extincted. Extincted. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, are you alright, Paul? <laughs> yeah, what is I, that? I took, a big, I took a I big. I took a big of, of the I really, I tried champagne to of off. beers, oh. and uh, I laughed because I found that to be humorous. So, so. <laughs> humorous. <laughs> oh God. Thanks. Well, very cool, man. That's 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 interesting, and there's just so much fascinating, cool shit about that, and like how it's all still there, and like. Well, and the coolest thing about it, I think. Sorry, not to cut you off. Like, no, go for it, man. So, um, but we, uh, it's like you go out and quarry, but then we were taking a break from quarrying, and we go out and prospected, and that was some of the most fun because you're just out hiking in the badlands. It's beautiful, albeit hot. But you're out there just hiking around and like they kind of showed us like it's actually really easy to tell bone fragments from rock because the bone fragments will be um that when you find them up on the surface they're kind of sun bleached and pink and no joke when you're learning it's a technical thing to do is you pick up a bone fragment and you touch it to your tongue yeah and if if it sticks to your tongue like very hard like like your tongue on your bicycle handlebars when you're a little kid out in the winter, like it'll stick because like the bone is so porous and it's so dry uh, that you, 
tongue, like it sucks the moisture from your tongue, and when it does that, it sucks, like basically your taste buds up into the pores of the bone, and then it sticks, which is just terribly Awful. disgusting. So yeah, how did man. you not get lost? Like, how were you, you just wandering around? Did you have some kind of GPS? Yeah, everybody gets a little GPS pad, and it's like this little, like, super waterproof, super sturdy, but very simple pad. And, like, it just shows you the direction, like, as the crow flies. So it's like you mark okay. the truck. Like, we drive over to the spot. We'd mark the truck. And then, like, Eric, the leader, would be like, all right, it's, you know, 10 a.m. now. We're going to prospect until 5 p.m. Be back to the car by 5 p.m. So then you just like go in, prospect all over, you know, you pack a lunch and a bunch of water. So you're carrying a lunch, water, rock hammers, um, a couple other pieces of equipment. Um, and you just go around and you, you find these like these bones and like you, you go to the low sections and then you find fragments of bone and then you try to follow them up because they, they fracture or like they break and like fragments tumble down the wash as water carries it oh. down. So and you so you the cliffs then, or like um, expose. Uh, well, you like... kind of walk. You it's definitely exposed. Like you don't <clears> walk <throat> north side in the badlands. There, it's it's a little bit more lush than most badlands. Lush is like a very generous term. <laughs> it's like still desert. So you'll like you'll find these fragments like in the low areas, like in those little valleys, and then you like you find the fragment and you look around up on the the hill and you're like, okay, I see another fragment there, and you follow it up, and then you look a little higher and you say, oh, there's another one, and you keep on following it, and sometimes you follow it to the top and you're like, there's nothing here, so it probably got all washed out. But then like um, Steve and I actually had some really good success. Steve, who I was prospecting with, Steve. we were like. Big, you know, cardio Steve. That's a story for another day. But um, we uh, we found a fragment, and like I found like a big, like big chunks of fragment, like probably like I'd say twice the size of my fist. And so oh. I was like, oh whoa, like th- like that's a pretty big fragment. And I was positive it was bones, so I took off my pack and I was like, Steve, get over here. And we start looking, and he was like, hey, look at this, and it's like a, a section of bone about the size of my forearm, broken like every inch. Like, it had been just sitting there, and so we started uncovering it. Like, we just took out our, like, we've got, like, paintbrushes, basically, that used to brush away the bone. You know, the generic cartoon trope of a paleontologist. Yeah, I saw that on Nat Geo. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you, um, you, you brush it off, and you use your really tiny rock hammer with a tiny little, like, needle-pointed awl. And so you just chip away, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And we were like, oh, my gosh, mm-hmm. we think we have something. So we radioed over to Eric. Um, who is the guy, like the head guy, and he um, eventually came over the next day, and uh, the way you preserve it is like you you chip away at it, and then you've got this stuff called B72, which is like a mixture of plastic and ammonium, um, or ammonia, and you, you spray it, you take with pipette, and you spray it on there, and the ammonia um, uh, evaporates off, but the plastic sticks, so it's kind of like a glue. Oh, weird. Uh, yeah, so you spray it. On. I don't know how it doesn't like dissolve the bone. I have no idea, um, but it doesn't. It's safe for the bone, and so you put it on there. And he came back the next day, and he looked at it, and he was like, "It's hard to say, but I think it's the sclamosa of a triceratops skull." So that was pretty cool. Dang. Dang. Yeah, but it turned out that it was on state lands where we didn't have a permit, so we had to basically tell them that we had accidentally dug on that land, and we weren't allowed to touch it anymore. Terribly disappointed. Yeah. That's a major bummer. Yeah, we ended up... And then the next day we went prospecting again and we found some kind of limb bone, but we weren't able to... uh, Or we think it was a limb bone. Like I thought just from the little experience I was out there, it looked like a limb bone that Eric had showed me. Classic Um, radius. Classic. Classic radius. Classic. But it it was a big one. I mean, like that... It would have been like... Like, if that was a limb bone, like, on a human, it was a femur. Like, it was a big bone. Damn. Yeah. That's cool. So what, yeah. do, you, what, what do you think? You going to another do it again sometime, or you've had your fill of... Oh, no, I want to... It's You know, it's pretty amazing, actually, like, this... It's kind of like this hidden community that, like, nobody really knows about. Like, you, you know, you see paleontologists on Nat Geo or whatever, and, like, 
but you you don't realize that until you're in that that like they all it's like a very very small community like when it comes down to it like in america and canada there's only like a hundred working paleontologists like really who are out in the field and doing stuff so it's like they really like you know when they go to these conferences stuff like they all know each other uh, or for the most part you know obviously there's some who are new or some who are really old and don't do stuff anymore but it's really cool because we we just heard it was so much of just you know you're out away from all cell phones and technology and stuff so you're out there you wake up at 7 a.m you get breakfast you pack your lunch you go out, you work your ass off all day until 6 p.m., and then you come back and sit around the campfire and hear endless stories from the people who have come out before you. And it's mm-hmm. it's just it's such a really cool environment because it's like the first few days you're you're tired and you're you feel overworked because you're just hiking all day or shoveling all day or picking all day. But then after the first few days, it's like like here to give some perspective, Dave, the the guy that brought us out. Um, the first time he had ever gone out, he was just, I think he was just out of college. He was really interested in it. He messaged this guy um, who a professor at OU had suggested to him. And he went out for two and a half months, stayed at the same site, campsite for two and a half months, camping, no showers, no anything. Um, and like, I asked him, I was, I was like, man, isn't that just like, weren't you ready to go by the end of it? And he was like, I'm not. I just wasn't sure. Like I was ready to get back to society and to do things. But at the same time, it was just so it's it's such a wonderful experience. And after eight days, I totally understood what he meant. It was like, I like, I really didn't want to go like eight days. Wasn't long enough. Like, because it's just, there's just something special about being out in the woods and not, you know, being on your cell phone or having technology or, coming home to a house like instead just you're just doing do- you're doing whatever you're doing you know like it's such hard work but such low stress mm-hmm. you know i don't know if that makes sense like no, it, it you makes know, sense caleb is kind of like the uh, bike trip we did um yeah exactly like that true although i this is pretty close to the anniversary of disaster day oh must yeah have been, what is uh, disaster day uh caleb's bike exploded <laughs> <laughs> and then my brain the, exploded. The bike yeah. completely exploded. No, no, just one one part. Um, the derailleur came off. The derailleur went into the spokes. The derailleur, yeah. for those of you who don't know, is just what shifts the chain on the back, the rear gears. And so, and it exploded. Um, yeah, it got bent into uh, the spokes and then basically ripped in half. Yeah, it was it was messy. And so basically we were like in the middle of nowhere. Wasn't it pouring too? We got out. We got back to society about one minute before a huge thunderstorm hit. Huge, like crazy downpour. (laughs) We were looking at the clouds and it was like, the clouds were not gray. They were deep purple, ready to just explode. And when we were unloading our bikes, because we got a, a van to get us to the nearest bike shop. Literally, it was downpouring as we were getting our bikes into that bike oh, shop. It, it was gnarly. Also, don't forget that when my derailleur broke, we like walked back to the closest road and we'd seen a lot of pickup trucks. And I was like, eh, I'll just hold a $10 bill out. Somebody's going to want us to take his <laughs> account three miles down the road. I go through all of my bags, no wallet. I left it in a Waffle House. <laughs> oh, my 30 gosh. Away. Yeah. Ugh. Caleb, you left your wallet. That never happens. You always just have it right there with you. <laughs> oh man, this is unprecedented. You always have an adventure over the summer, Caleb. That's for sure. You're always doing something cool, man. There's merit to that, though. You know, getting Definitely. out and breaking whatever routine you have. But basically, whatever routine you have in life, just blow it to smithereens for a week or two. It's a good experience. Just be yeah. somewhere, and you know, yeah. that's what you're doing. I, I don't know and about that. Guys. So different too. I like to but sit and read my book by the fire and, you know, watch my birds. Okay, then you're 45. <laughs> mm-hmm. 45, pushing 50. Pushing but 50. You know, 45 is pushing 50, Caleb? <laughs> <laughs> if you round up. Yeah, if you I'm, do round up. I'm going to be 25. Does that mean I'm pushing 30? 45 is pushing 50. Before you know it, Trevor, you will be. Oh, God, shut up. I'm 25 this year, too. I Quarter of a century. Today. 
Um, wait, but Paul, remember? So we had this friend named Evan Leonard. Um, yeah. I guess we have this friend. He didn't go anywhere besides Nevada. Um, <laughs> but he, um, he had. I know he was kind of an outdoorsy guy, but he was like he was a photography major, and he was quote unquote like a normal kid. But he he liked hiking, and you know just as much as any of us. But then he made the decision. He was like, I'm gonna go hike the Appalachian Trail. And so he prepared for like a year Which, or so. How far is that? How long is that trail? Uh, 20, 2,100 miles, give Something or take. Something like that. Somebody, All walked. Somebody he fact check. I'm not quite yeah. sure exactly what that All is. All walked. He did, because yeah, he did, he did the entire thing. Yep, he did. And he did south to north. So he started, um, he started in like the, I think it was like January when it was like warmer down there. Maybe it was February. And then ended like in early fall or end of summer. I don't probably end of summer actually, but he, um, it was just amazing. Like when he had come back, I remember him, I asked him like, how was it? And he was just so like, even after that six months, he was like, I didn't want to leave. He was like, I like, which is amazing to me that you can be out for six and a half months or five months, whatever it was. And you can still want to be out there. But like, even just that eight days that I spent out in those woods, like I totally get it. Like when you're out there and it's, like you, have it, no- uh, it simplifies oh. things. You just have yeah. like whatever, you know, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to have dinner tonight and I have to get to whatever location to sleep. And that's, that will occupy your entire day when, you, yeah. when you're doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. You don't have to worry about other stuff and stress about all the little things. That's just no. what you're doing. It's, and it's, it's kind yeah. of a nice feeling. Definitely. It's a great feeling and it's an awesome way to, to, to unplug. And it, you, like you said, it takes out so many factors. Like it's still dangerous. It's hard. Like obviously hiking the Appalachian trail, digging for dinosaur bones, like that's hard. Like, and it's, you know, it's definitely not the most enjoyable thing, but like, that's all you have to do. Like, that's what your goal and your objective is hard for that day. Work. Like it's, it's just like, all right, today from 10 AM till five, I don't know what time it's going to be, but until they say it's time to go, I am digging dinosaur bones. I got no cell service. People know I'm gone. I got no other commitments other than to dig these rocks. And or that's just Caleb, what you do. Break these teeth. Yeah, break the shit. Hey, at least I didn't break teeth as badly as Dave, man. Oh. See, I, I, broke, I, I broke a couple, but man, he was just like every, it was just like, oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dave. <laughs> Well, the funny thing is that when you find something, you have to like carve out the rock around it to put it up on a pedestal. And then you've got this plaster thing. It's like these sheets, like I think it's called gypsona. And you you take these sheets of plaster and burlap and you wet it and you put it over top. And once you've done that, you you pop that pedestal off so that you can like preserve it as well as you can. But then when you're when you're carving around the tooth, like if you just found a tooth, I think Triceratops had 700 some odd teeth. I mean, they had a lot of them. Yeah, they had like a lot, a lot of teeth. And so when you find one and you try to carve around it, like you're probably going to find another one. And so like every time and like you can't just like magically pull out a tooth. Like I don't think there's ever a situation where you can pull it out without breaking a little bit. Mm. And so... But like <laughs> Dave had a hard time, man. He was like, he found one, and he was carving around it, and he broke another one. He was like, no, and then he carved around that one and broke a third. He's like, no, that's <laughs> <laughs> something going. Dang. So, so uh, I think Trevor had some topics he wanted to talk about. Yeah, Trevor, we're at we're a, good, a solid fifty minutes in. What did you want to dive into? <laughs> uh, I mean, it can just wait for next episode at this point. No. <laughs> Um, I mean, if you want to, I can go eat my stuffed shells. I will definitely eat those. What? No, we, we can get into this a little bit. What's yeah, get at least the pre... What? What's in them? <laughs> yeah, what's in... Talk to me, Paul. I got... Um, so I, I didn't make my sauce this time. I, I didn't I didn't have a, didn't have enough work ethic to do that. So I went jarred sauce. But um, uh, spicy... Uh, Italian chicken sausage with peppers and onions, um, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese. Did you did you roll out the noodles? Did you make the actual noodles? No, I didn't fucking make the noodles, Trevor. Come on. Well, you're talking about not making the sauce. I don't know if that made you made, made everything else. No, no, no. I I, I made. We went to Fazoli's. 
And do you have Fazoli's? Do you have Fazoli's? Dude, the yeah, we used to have Fazoli's had the weirdest noodles. Like their <laughs> spaghetti noodles were n- unlike any other spaghetti noodle ever. They were very doughy, but undercooked all the time. Aren't the they fast food? Bread, so, yeah, they're fast food. They used My, to be uh, like, people who worked at Fazoli's were hammered. <laughs> <laughs> my be surprised. favorite thing about Fazoli's is that you can get a bowl of pasta with unlimited breadsticks and then a slice of pizza on the side. Mm. Where is there a Fazoli's? I haven't seen a Fazoli's in hey, years. Hey, man, there's one in my suburb. You come down here. We can get <laughs> I've never well, been there. I think they're supposed to ramp them up, you know, because like, I had a Fazoli's near me and it was just kind of like, it was like if you met together, like, <laughs> Caleb's so. like disappearing. <laughs> like, like, dragging him away from the like. Big Fazoli's coming to Caleb take just, him out for talking yeah. shit about yeah. Fazoli. Caleb, blah, 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 Fazoli's, and then just fades off into the distance. I don't even know where he went. So last time you call our noodles raw, <laughs> make fun of our pasta joint. Oh, no, he's just gone. <laughs> we lost Caleb. Yeah, you did. Oh, oh he's dude. back. Uh, okay, like Trevor. Only man got me. Trevor, drop a drop a topic. All right. So, do we want? So I've got I've got a couple of nerdier things, and then I've got one kind of just fun thing I wanted to talk about with you guys. Hold on, well, real quick on a nerd well, thing. Caleb Banjo Kazooie in the new Smash. What do you think? Um. Wait. But there's no new smashes. The last smash they made was oh, Super God. Smash Brothers Melee. Shut up. Yeah, all right. ah. back, to yeah, back to Trevor. God, you fucking suck. <laughs> uh, I don't suck Melee as bad as you do. Melee. That's, I do suck at Melee. What do you What do you want from me? We know this to be true. Yeah, I do, too. Anyway, Trevor. Right. First, I'm just going to say, have you guys seen this video game that they announced at E3 where you play? It's basically Grand Theft Auto, but you play as a shark. Have you seen this? What? No. Oh, no. my Sounds God. Sounds awesome. All right. So it's called, I think it's called Man Eater. And it's, I, I think like it already. I think they had a demo at E3 because they announced a trailer like not too long ago. But basically, it's it's Grand Theft Auto. Like the graphics look amazing. But then you just play as a shark and like you're swimming in the ocean and whatever. And I guess there's like boss battles, but then you can just like kill random civilians and you get like a wanted rating because like Are this fish. What's up? Are the civilians fish? No, like you, you run up on the beach and you flop around oh, and so like kill people. It's like Jaws. Yeah. It's like Jaws. Yeah. It's called man eater. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it looks hilarious, and they were talking about, like, they're still working on some of the stuff that you can do in the game, but they mentioned that, like, there's a nuclear waste facility, and I'm really hoping that you can go and, like, mutate your shark and just, like, <laughs> rampage around. <laughs> that would be sweet. Like, it Isn't just seems old, crazy. Uh, there's an old N64 game called Rampage, I think. Oh, dude, no. I mean, yes, uh, there is. There's two. They have Rampage World Tour and then Rampage World Tour 2 or something. But the original Rampage was an arcade game. Um, but yes, I have that, actually. It's uh, in my that, house right now. Is Rampage the game that they recently made, the movie with The Rock, that was based they off did of it? Make, yep, they did. For oh, whatever man. reason, they decided to make a movie. They, they were just like, all right, The Rock and big shit blowing up. Put it in a movie. <laughs> they were like, hey, okay. Dwayne, you were in uh, the, that terrible Doom movie, right? Why don't we put you in another movie about a video game that came out a long time ago? Dude, Dwayne John, The Rock was literally in a movie about a skyscraper like blowing up, and it was just like Die Hard, but less cool. Highest oh, paid no. actor in the world. Die yeah, Hard dude, with less Christmas. Everyone loves The Rock, man. <laughs> The rock. Dude, that movie, I watched that movie with the, the tower blowing up. It was just, I watched it, it was on, it, I was in Chile and it was all in Spanish, which just <laughs> added insult to injury. Oh my god, it was rough. You sat through that whole thing, it was in Spanish? I mean, I guess you don't need the dialogue, it's just, you just watched The Rock kick ass for an hour and a half. Also, Spanish The Rock is hilarious. <laughs> I was just say, like the Spanish The Rock, does he have a grizzled voice? Like, is he as a... Stop it, as... gross. <laughs> that, that actually sounds like it would be better than the original movie that they created oh, in English. 100%. 100% <laughs> had to be. 
Definitely. Kidding? I wouldn't sit there and watch it if it was just in English. That's awesome. Still haven't seen Endgame. Paul. <laughs> That's not my problem, man. That's your problem. Dude. That's oh, did you see did you guys see though that they're re-releasing Endgame in theaters? Yep. I so perfect. That. I'm set. I have more time, Trevor. <laughs> You're <laughs> still it's, not it's, gonna see it, Paul. I am gonna see it eventually. It's I, just my, different roommates, footage. my roommates aren't in. So when Ben gets here, I have someone who will go to the I'm movie. I'm not rewatching it. It was mediocre at best. Oh, damn, I, I have not, to. I'm not seeing, you know, I, I won't spoil anything, but. Ben, the fun fact, the movie theater, very close to us, though. Cool. So they yeah. actually, so they're actually. When are, y'all coming in, when are we doing a live recording in Chicago? That's when when do you get a job? I have a job. I just got promoted. Ew. What's your job? I'm a prep cook and dishwasher at Bro Bagel. Paul is so, now a bagel and that's officer. after the promotion. Yeah, Caleb. <laughs> is I make it after a, the promotion? You're damn right it is. <laughs> bagel Officer Paul. I Watch I, out. Uh, I can I can put a bunch of bacon Hold strips on. on a big baking sheet Hold. and put it in the oven. Hold Let on. me tell you. I've made, I've made not one, hold on, hold on, Caleb. I've made not one, but two fruit platters. Yeah, fruit platters with multiple different types of fruit. I I had to skin a goddamn cantaloupe twice. Honestly, I thought you were going to say a goat. (laughs) What the heck kind of bagel place do you think this is, Caleb? (laughs) Doing it's, a satanic uh, ritual it's in more. Chicago, not Montana. <laughs> no, but hold on. So, do you ask customers if they want your bagel? Uh, I don't work you with customers. See a bagel. My bagel. You but let me them. tell you, Caleb. Let me tell you. If I was wow. to get fired for any great bit at that place, you bet your sweet <laughs> ass. You bet your sweet candy ass that I would do that. <laughs> I would bagel so everyone, and I would just leave, <laughs> just straight bagel. What is it for, for uh, the audience? What is a bagel? Yeah, for the a, uninitiated, a bagel is where you form a circle with your pointer finger and your thumb, and you lift up your shirt and you put it around your belly button, <laughs> thus creating the hairy bagel. So it's a dangerous thing that you work in a bagel shop. To be honest, exactly, Ben. If Long con. Okay. I got a lot of bagels and cream cheese today, though. So is that on the menu? The hairy bagel, dude. You, I'm just telling you, hairy bagel. Jeff, Jeff would be in heaven because he would just get free bagels and could and all this cream cheese. He he would have a field day with with this job. He would just wash dishes and then he could just gorge himself <laughs> on bagels and cream cheese. I don't think oh, there is. Jeff is he'll eat like six bagels and two packs of cream cheese, and then he won't eat for three days. So. Exactly, that's true. He, dude, it's you're living with so Jeff much now. Bread you're experiencing, and fat. you're experiencing the lifestyle of the Jeff, and it is an interesting one. That's so, can you true. actually? I'm just curious. Could you survive off of only cream cheese? No. Yeah. Is Isn't that what the keto no. diet is? Finish you. <laughs> the keto, is this not a paleo diet? I don't. No, um, there, there's not enough stuff in, in there's, there's not fluids. enough nutrients and stuff you to keep you alive food. on cream cheese. I think you could for for You're getting fats a bit. You're getting food. proteins. You getting carbohydrates. Caleb, I think now you just for the until the next episode, you have to eat nothing but cream cheese and report back to us. We'll see if Caleb will be back on. He may not. <laughs> I bet. I bet that you're gonna shit white like a bird. Uh, oh. Me like your soiling poops. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Let's it? not get into that on the podcast. I'll never, I'll never forget when you guys described it as point? sand, oh. just, just coming out of your butt. Sand. Man, this episode has just gone. Can we cancel hey. the episode? Can we not air this? Uh, bullshit. <laughs> if there's anything, this is the best episode of chat this bag is we've ever done. aired so hard. If there's, oh. if we had informative dino talk from Caleb. We had we tangents. Still don't know what the turtle is. We still got no word on the turtle whatsoever. Also, I'm no confirmation if they are or are not teenage and yeah. or ninjas. Yeah. And or mutant. <laughs> and or mutants. And or named after Renaissance artists. <laughs> 
So with with where we're at, I think we should wrap things up here. I know you both had stuff you want to talk about, but we're at an hour. Unless unless it's quick, unless it's timely, and we should discuss it now. You know what, Paul? I think that it would be a great uh, reason for someone to tune into the next episode. Hey! Uh, actually, I do have one complaint. Yeah. Ben, actually, before we end, do you, ben, ever, ever... you were called out on Twitter by one of our fans, Trevor's Seriously? own dad. Oh, boy. <laughs> of, uh, don't, don't call it my dad one of our fans. That just sounds sad. <laughs> Hey, our number one a fan, fan baby. got Heim. <laughs> well, no, it's not our number one fan. It's our it's our one fan. <laughs> it's right. it's the one who tweets at us the most. Dude, your That's dad's Twitter one. feed is just the definition of a dude that got into Twitter way late. It is just he just needs to air his grievances. Twitter is just where your dad goes to vent or to just compliment that's something me, man that's what Speaking of fuck this airport what, i hey. love buffalo wild wings now <laughs> fuck this hey. place hey that's what twitter's for come on hey. now that's what speaking twitter's of for. getting into the twitter game late did you guys see the ojs on twitter now oh my god stupidest thing i've ever seen it why oh. if and you he's follow oj beef. simpson delete your account like at the end of the day like <laughs> Well, uninstall <laughs> un- unfollow oj simpson and do yourself a favor and go and follow uh at chat pack live <laughs> that's right that's us that's Wait, so what, did, what did uh oh, our number one fan what did he say i'm curious you didn't see usually no, I, I, I did not uh oh, god damn it now i'm gonna so, have to scroll here no 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 i i, I could paraphrase it i think um, no i got it i actually it was it was pretty <laughs> easy to find in my mention so um don't be talking shit at Colby 33, I will crush you and all the lads. Exclamation point, four periods, tags me, Caleb, and Trevor, and then hashtag, I crap bigger than you. I have a Twitter? I disagree. Did I he actually had, say, I crap I bigger than you? You do have a Twitter, guarantee, Caleb. I guarantee things are going to be above the water, Scott. So... But no, if he wants to play uh, StarCraft 2, I believe that was the... Um, the challenge there. Tell him to mean, download the game. Here's a here's a tweet oh. from Ben from October tenth, twenty sixteen. This this brings us back to the 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 Montrose days, gentlemen, that I easily found. Roommates, Ben, you realize you can't leave your dishes everywhere. Well, no, Ben, the worst with dishes out of all four of us. One Ben's response. Me, well, ISIS. So there you go, Ben. <laughs> Wait, what about ISIS? That was his response to us saying, "Ben, take the dishes out." And you—that was that was, that was when in your top three things that you had tweeted last was that. What did you wait? Hold on, I'm seeing what you responded to him. <laughs> you said, "We aren't the American people, Ben. We will not be fooled by diversion." <laughs> so, we weren't, Ben. Spoiler alert: well, missiles. Um, Okay, but no, no. Actually, the thing I wanted to complain about. Okay, yeah, let's hear it. What do you, what bone are we picking today? <sighs> so, not a radius, that's for sure. <laughs> or a no, tooth. Well, you already did that. Caleb yeah. might break that tooth. I might break some teeth here. Just hang on. <laughs> well, teeth are so cool. that's going to be the new spill in the tea, breaking the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I live in a suburb of Columbus, so naturally I went to Sports Cut TM <gasps> to get my hair cut. Mm-hmm. So I have to wait in line or whatever. You get uh, online queue. So I had 25 minutes to kill, right? So I went what? to the local Target to kill 25 minutes. Because I live in a suburb, so you can only shop. So I found a prickly pear grow-it-yourself um, little device. The little cup has some soil, some prickly pear seeds. Sounds get my novel. Haircut, it's like a starter kit. I purchased it and started growing it about two weeks ago. They didn't fucking grow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's dead. Nothing sprouted Is this your big complaint? Is it too yeah, late to Target? return it? I'm just saying, let's get all of our listeners boycott Target. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Target, Target. Target gonna... is awesome. <laughs> and Ben, wait until you move out of here it's and you just eat stuff. Walmart. And you need it's to just go red see. Walmart. It's, it's not red Walmart. 
I'm just I'm just throwing this out there, Ben. When you move out here, you're gonna need things. And guess what's closest? The biggest target I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Yeah. So I, I you're gonna like end up there. Boycott Target and is it a I super target? <laughs> what? Why do you like Target? I don't get it. Actually, I, I really don't get it. It seems to me it's just Walmart that's more expensive. Honestly, I don't see the difference. Yeah, that's all that, it is. That's, it's just a big store with everything in it, and they put a nice they look They don't have on very it. many groceries. They changed well, their snack bars, too, to be more fancy, so now they don't have the snack bars, which are bullshit. I think people like it because the Target symbol looks like a boob, and people like boobs. That's not Not, not even close. It looks like yeah. a Target. Are you telling right, me Freud. that you... You God damn it, Caleb! I despise you. But let's <laughs> let's end the let's end the podcast on the question we started on tonight, Caleb. Wait, what are we going to talk me? about? <laughs> wait, no, wait, what was it, Ball? It was Caleb. Do you miss me? My mom asked. I want to know. <laughs> and that's, that's the a, show. That, that's a yes. That's a yes. If I've so ever remember, heard one, Target. It, it it it's like a it's a boob. Oh um, God! Okay. Well, thanks everyone for joining us for another <laughs> riveting episode of Chat Pack. We had the whole full crew back. An exciting episode. And uh, follow us online. And uh, we're available on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Podbean. If I got that right, right? What? Yeah, this is our host. Uh, it's just the host. So anyway, most places you can find podcasts other than Spot SoundCloud, which we probably should get a SoundCloud. A app? I think so. I don't know. Trevor's been doing all that stuff. Trevor, are we on the podcast app? Wh- which podcast app? Which the Apple think. one? Yeah. Boom. We're on so Apple, Google, there. Spotify. We're going to have to pay for that thing eventually so we can keep hosting it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've I've got a couple ideas with that. We can discuss it later. <laughs> we'll figure that I, out. Wait, but... is the idea Paul pays for it because that's my idea. Hey, he just I got mean, promoted. <laughs> Damn yeah, it! Got promoted that was the joke I wanted to make, Ben. <laughs> bagel officer. Bagel <laughs> officer. Excuse me, I'm sir. I'm going to need your hairy bagel. <laughs> sir, chief. Sir, ba- put your hands I'm, on your bagel. I'm chief of bagel operations. You know. But anyway, thank you, Chad Pack listeners. Thank you, Ben, Trevor, and Caleb for taking time out of your Wednesday to join me. I'm going to go eat my dinner at 9.30 at night. I mean, it's only 8.30 here. Well, that's your prerogative. It's 10.30 here. <laughs> Losers. All right. Good night, y'all. Night. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Does this... So do, do we just end it? So like... Are, 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 Everyone is, go quiet. Everyone go quiet until Paul leaves, and then we can get to the important stuff.